Welcome friends to Boiler Room Detective Channel, where I share my knowledge and experience troubleshooting boiler issues. Please consider liking and subscribing to the channel if you find these videos helpful. Today we're investigating the difference between brewery and space heating steam systems. While the systems for a brewery and space heating are technically steam systems, they are quite different each with its own unique complexities and characteristics. Ever since December 1899, space heating steam systems were designed to operate at 2 psi pressure or lower. On the space heating system, most of the heating is done using the latent heat of the steam. Latent heat is the heat surrendered or generated to cause a change in state. It's the energy required to heat the water from a liquid to a vapor, or the energy the steam releases to revert back to condensate or water. Brewers are concerned with steam temperature more than the latent heat. The higher the steam temperature, the faster the steam heats the water or wort. Steam at 2 psi is 219, while steam at 13 psi is 246 degrees, or about 27 degrees higher. The brewer's aim is to get a rolling boil in a wort tank. The higher the steam pressure, the faster it begins to boil. When heating water, it requires 1 BTU to raise 1 pound of water 1 degree. For relevance, 1 pound of water is about 15.3 ounces. The real challenge to getting a rolling boil is when the water temperature reaches 212 degrees Fahrenheit. It requires 970 BTUs to change one pound of water at 212 to steam at 212. This is the latent heat. At 2 PSI, the steam temperature is 219 degrees, or just 7 degrees above the 212 degree design temperature. It could eventually cause the water to boil, but it will take a long time. Conversely, steam at 13 PSI is 246 degrees, or about 34 degrees higher than what we need. It will heat the wort much quicker and get it boiling much faster. The condensate temperatures of a steam system range between 10 and 20 degrees lower than the steam temperature. If the steam pressure is 13 psi, the condensate temperature will be between 226 and 236 degrees Fahrenheit. When discharging through the steam trap, it will discharge into atmospheric pressure. At atmospheric pressure, water boils at 212 degrees. This is called flash steam. This is steam you see venting from the condensate or boiler feed tank. It's wasteful as the steam goes out of the vent and the water has to be replaced, heated, and chemically treated. At 2 psi steam pressure, it will have about 0.67% flash steam, or less than 1%. Most steam systems try to limit water losses to 2 to 3%. At 13 psi steam pressure, the loss steam is about 5.5%, or 8 times greater. One crucial difference between the two steam systems is the operating conditions. In a space heating system, once the boilers are started for winter, they remain warm for most of the heating season. However, a brewer may only brew one or two days a week. The rest of the week, the system is off and the water inside the boiler is at room temperature. At 70 degrees water temperature, the oxygen reading is about 8.6 parts per million. When the water warms, it will drive the oxygen molecules from the water and out with the steam. When the water reaches 150 degrees Fahrenheit, the oxygen level drops to half or 4.3 parts per million. Once the water reaches 212 degrees, the oxygen is just about gone from the water. The problems happen when the water is allowed to cool on those days when a brewer is not brewing. The water will reabsorb the oxygen molecules and they will attack the metal surfaces inside the boiler with a vengeance. 
there are two things to consider. Dissolved oxygen is 10 times more corrosive than carbon dioxide, which forms carbonic acid when mixed with water. Oxygen corrosion is twice as corrosive at 86 degrees than it is at 122 degrees. You have to either keep the boiler warm or use a chemical treatment program, which includes an oxygen scavenger. The oxygen scavenger consumes the oxygen so it won't attack the metal, ensuring the longevity and efficiency of the system. If you would like to contact me, my contact information is here. In addition, I have two websites. Brewingwithsteam.com is focused on steam systems for breweries and distilleries. It includes a monthly blog about steam issues inside a brewery. My other site is fireiceheat.com. It's my company's website and shows some of our capabilities. I've authored 12 boiler books and they're available on Amazon. My technical articles are included in these industry publications. Thanks for stopping by Boiler Room Detective and I'll see you on the next case.